What's up guys, Matt Schiffer with American Made Exotics here. Uh, so we've been busy with the hatchling season and pulling stuff out of the incubator. Uh, I've kind of fell off on taking videos of putting eggs into the incubator, uh, but we had a handful of clutches laid again today. Uh, things are still rolling really, really strong and we haven't really slowed down too much yet. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and break the camera out while we're out here and just go ahead and uh, let y'all see me pull some clutches today and see what we got going on. So let's go ahead and dig in here and see what the girls gave us today. All right, so first up, we have a female hypo head clown that we started out with a male clown pinstripe pastel possible stranger um, just because she was a small girl and this was kind of a backup male. Um, so we did a lock on that. And then once she started building follicles, um, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with her. So I ended up doing a hypo blackhead black pastel leopard Mojave banana male. So hopefully some cool hypo combos with the blackhead that we can shed test and someone will prove out to be head clown. Uh, this was a small girl. She gave me a small clutch. Four, five eggs. But if they're sired by that hypo male, um, everything's gonna be hypo and hopefully a couple of them prove out. So let's can them and make sure um, these are all good. All right, that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. So all good eggs. All right, five eggs. Uh, like I said, that's all we uh, all we can ask for there from a little girl. I'm um, still giving us five shots at making what we want to make, and it only takes one to prove out being head clown, and that'll kind of set us up with a really cool blackhead hypo male. Um, that's 100% head clown. I really like that banana blackhead black pastel hypo stuff. So we can get an animal that was head clown. Um, that would really give us cool animal to play with and be a pretty cool building block uh, for some hyper clown stuff in the future. So happy with that. We'll go ahead and get it on the shelf and start the clock and see what else we got for the day. All right, so this one is a clown banana spider that we bred to an acid pastel yellow belly het DG het cryptic. Uh, this is a girl that we had had listed and she got some size on her and we just ended up raising her up. Um, go ahead and try to get some more banana clown stuff into our collection uh, before parting with her. So hopefully this pairing leaves us something cool. I really like the acid banana. Two, three, four, five, six. So hopefully we hit some cool uh, banana kryptons that have the acid and then prove out to be het desert ghost. Uh, but let's go ahead and candle it and make sure they're all good. That one's good, 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 and that one's good. So all good eggs. All right, six eggs. So that's enough to see what we want to see. Um, take a little bit of luck there, but I think a banana acid krypton would be a pretty cool animal. Um, a lot of this stuff, I really do like the krypton versions or the cryptic versions more than I like the clown version. Um, so I'm just kind of curious to see what um, the acid krypton is going to look like. And the banana acid was really cool too. So, you know, might get lucky and hit a couple animals in this that are a good building block for the future. And we can kind of throw into some projects. We'll get this on the shelf and we'll see what else we got for the day. All right, so this is 24 BP 180, which is a female clown pastel het desert ghost that we bred to a desert ghost, hypo super pastel vanilla leopard and we followed that up with a desert ghost clown pastel het pie um, this was a girl that we weren't sure if she was going to go or not so we ended up starting with that desert ghost hypo um, and then there's zero shot at making clowns with that and then the better male once she started building follicles um visual clown desert ghost pastel het pie um, so the whole clutch would be visual clown if sired by him so I'll easily know anything that's visual clown um, is 100% het desert ghost and I need to shed test it for het pied and anything that's not visual clown I will know is 100% het desert ghost or visual desert ghost and 100% het hypo and no pied at all on that. So that was a way we could use a male that didn't really have a ton of females to get this girl going while she still had small follicles. Um, it's a small female. Still good clutch. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and I'm really not complaining either way it goes. Um, that could get some cool codoms into our um, Hypo DG Clown stuff. But let's go ahead and camera it, make sure they're all good first. All right, that one's good. 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 And that one's good. So all good eggs. All right, six egg clutch. Um, not bad at all. Again, this is another girl that we just really weren't even sure if she was going to go this year. Um, so I'll take six eggs from her for sure. And, you know, we might get lucky and hit some cool animals in it. Uh, we got really lucky with the shed testing on the first couple clutches that we've done this kind of maneuver and ended up hitting a lot of DG clown stuff that was pet pied and a lot of just various double visuals or single visuals that are het for the other genes. Um, so we'll see if we can keep that going. And again, I won't complain. Whichever male sire is it, um, could definitely have some animals that help us get ahead in the future. Um, some cool desert ghost animals that are double head hypo clown. Uh, that could be cool too. So let's go ahead and get this one up and we'll keep it rolling and see what else we got for the day. All right, so this one is 24 BP 181, which was a female yellow belly, double head ultramel, head G stripe, and a male butter, head ultramel, head G stripe. Uh, so hopefully some combo um, G stripe ultramels. And this is a small girl too, probably why she laid late. Uh, we just bred her late, wasn't the best feeder in the world. So we tried putting her in these little tubs and I uh, ended up doing that to a couple girls and got them going back on feed. So four, five, six, seven eggs. Cause these are the tubs we usually use for our males. I've never bred in them before, but uh, somebody told me to try putting the smaller girls that weren't eating great in here. And uh, we put them back in the smaller tub and they started slamming food. You'd think it was a different animal. So, and then here you go. We got a seven egg clutch from her. So let's go ahead and can them and make sure they're all good. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And that's good. So they're all good eggs. All right, seven eggs. That's what we want to see with those multi-recessive projects. Not the easiest thing to do, hitting double head to double head. Uh, but we've got a lot of girls for that project that are already adults. So hopefully we hit a cool male that we can kind of run back through some of these girls. But we'll go ahead and get this one on the shelf and we'll see what else we got for the day. All right, so this is 24 BP 182, which is a champagne, possible fire, possible orange dream, a double head clown pied, bred to a clown pied, inchy pastel, possible yellow belly, possible head paint and a male yellow belly clown pod. Um, so hopefully the Enchi one took it because I know Enchi and Champagne go pretty well together. Uh, that could be a pretty cool combo. Uh, this is another girl that was a very small girl that kind of slowed down on feeding and we tried putting her in one of these tubs that we usually keep the males in. And uh, she went back on feed and ended up laying us a good clutch. So might be something we keep in the arsenal of things to try when girls slow down on feeding in the future. Or Six eggs, so let's can them and make sure they're all good. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, and that's good. So they're all good eggs. All right, six eggs. Uh, that's really all I can ask for there. Again, just like that clutch before it, it's another girl that we really just didn't even think we'd be able to breed this year because um, she had hit that over a thousand grams and then slowed down on feeding and then somebody suggested try and use um the tub that we usually keep just males in and uh, put her in there and she started slamming food just like the other one um, doing everything that you would want a female to do going into breeding season and built follicles on her own before we even bred her so um, seven egg clutch or six egg clutch um, still not bad considering that you already weren't really sure that female would go or not I'm not really sure how it'll turn out. Um, I know a lot of the champagne stuff has those big ringers on it anyway. Uh, it looked like a pie, so we'll be eager to see what happens when we get um, the clown and the pie and the champagne with some of them other codon jeans. So we'll get this on the shelf. We'll see what else we got for the day. All right, so this is 24 BP 183, which is a female banana, pastel, triple head, desert ghost, 
cryptic genetic stripe bred to a male butter chocolate pastel triple head desert ghost cryptic genetic stripe um so i'm looking forward to seeing this um, i always like banana stuff anyways and i just saw those uh banana chocolates we had hatched and that's a pretty cool combo by itself uh cool color um so let's go ahead and see some of these codons in there and that dg cryptic g stripe hopefully but long shot odds triple to triple not the biggest clutch six eggs but hey it only takes one egg so maybe we'll see something cool and more realistically uh, maybe we'll see some double recessives and single recessives that we can shed test and get them to prove out for the other recessives well let's go ahead and can them and make sure they're all good that's good that's good that's good that's good that's good and that's good so they all good eggs all right six egg clutch uh, long shot odds going triple to triple but i mean that's that's how you make them by taking these big swings and uh, every once in a while you get lucky and hit it so uh, hopefully we get lucky and see a triple visual uh, but again like i said when we're pulling them realistic expectations is you know maybe we'll hit some cool ingredients that increase our odds in the future uh, we've got codoms in the mix so uh, i really anticipating this one i think it's going to be a cool animal um, i really like the cryptic stuff i know i've said it before so uh, we've got lots of uh clown genetic stripe stuff so if we can hit a cool dg uh, visual with the cryptic and the genetic stripe and visual or het forms um, i've definitely got the genetic stripe clown stuff that i can plug an animal like that into and then get dg uh, in the mix with lots of other codoms uh, pretty quickly so uh, i will have to just cross our fingers and hopefully get some cool animals in here but well, we'll go ahead and get this one in the incubator it's the last clutch we're going to pull tonight and uh, we'll see what we got going on in the incubator all right, another one on the shelf. Well, another handful on the shelf. And uh, we still running it pretty full. I'm not going three high no more on the tops. I got it to where it's two, but that's clutch 183. And that's uh, 1,181 eggs so far on just the ball pythons. Uh, we got a couple hatching. Some puzzle stuff in there. There's a puzzle. The stuff we were just about to do videos coming out. They weren't quite ready to come out in the incubator yesterday. A oh, handful of them. Just some head DG, head hypo stuff. Chocolates. But lots coming. We still got stuff pipping. Still getting eggs coming in here. Just kind of barely stretching right here where we're chasing it with the clutches coming in, the clutches coming out. Luckily, we hit that patch where more started coming out uh, faster than eggs coming in. So we at least got a little bit of a buffer now. That takes a little bit of the pressure off of us. But there's still a ton of stuff to come out of here. I think we're, uh, it was like 575 or so hatchum so far that have come out. Um, so really, we still have the majority of our season up in this incubator. Lots more cool stuff coming. Um, really happy so far with what we hatched this year. Um, lots of holdbacks, lots of cool animals. Um, so really looking forward to seeing what else comes out of here this year. And there's going to be a good bit of it. So um, lots of updates coming as we have videos and things going on. So just stay tuned. I know we're dropping tons of videos every day of clutches hatching. Uh, lots more coming though. So I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, until the next one.